Hey there, budget buddy friends. Uh, we're going to do something today, and it's going to continue until tomorrow. So we're not going to get all of it going yet, except for the one piece we do need, and that is the puff pastry part. Now, we got all this stuff, and this is stuff left over before the lockdown, correct? Yeah. But before we do anything in this budget buddy kitchen, we wash our hands. And now we have stir. Now these are a little damp still, but it's fine. Okay. So you had to get all this stuff before the lockdown. Everybody knows why. Ooh, it's a too hot. Well, afterwards, yeah, it turns cold for me. So folks, we got the first part, butter. Now, I'm gonna be very straightforward, folks. The reason you haven't seen much of us on YouTube, and I do apologize for it, is due to the fact that we have cut, uh, been fighting a battle and is coming to the home stretch. So stay tuned. We do wanna thank all the loyal Budget Buddy people out there. And to my channel, to say thank you as well. Yeah, uh, one and one fourth a cup. So we are tripling this. So basically, that'd be three cups, and then so basically three cups of flour in first. I think this needs to be rinsed because it looks a little. So open it up and rinse it. Now see how much is one fourth times three. So half, and then. One third. So it'd basically be a half cup, which I'll take. Okay. And then basically a third of the cup. Okay? A half a cup? I'm gonna do that part, and I'm gonna get you to do a different part for me, okay? Taking these apart. I'll put it back together. So I need that. I need this. And I need this. Um, but you are going to um, get for me. So basically, you're going to get three times, you're going to do the teaspoons. And it's one fourth of a teaspoon, three times in there. Okay, of salt. thank you and we hope everybody has a good merry boxing week two three now the reason why we're tripling this up folks like this is because we are doing a big batch of this for ourselves because this is a great dessert to have in the households and this dessert, can people have it for Valentine's too? Uh, they probably could. It's a nice sweet treat. So I would say yes to that. Okay? I know it's in three more months, but still. Uh, if you can now just I wash. Know two more months. Wash those quickly. The cups. Okay? Yeah. And I need cold water running. Okay? because I do need the measuring cup though. Now folks, you can do this with your hands if you've washed your hands, which I have done. Or I've done it too. I'm putting my hands in this. Soapy fish water. So you need doing it again. And I need the half cup too. Like that, is that the half? Yep, that was the half.
what I need. So, like I said, we picked up this stuff before the lockdown happened. Got to leave it on cold though. Is that cold? Yeah. Okay. So. Now, folks, if it's requiring us to put half of a cup of butter, chilled, but we are doing it basically. I'm going to give it to you now. Okay. Now, we've had this in the fridge overnight, right? I think. I would say. Yeah. Because we've been home, unfortunately, since Boxing Day. We only went out once, and that was me, folks. I will never deny it. I had to go out to pick up some cleaning supplies, and I did it just before the lockdown. So it's basically going to take about a stick and a half, or maybe two sticks of butter, in there. I'm going to say two sticks of butter at least. Okay. Yeah, so basically chop up the other butter for me, like I did here. And then... Yeah, after you do that, now it won't come out. I know. from yesterday, like we said. We're just washing up our hands. We're going to take some more, but we're going to give her the muzzle. Well, a little help to relax her, if we can. She's going to do that. Where did you put her muzzle? It's probably up there. Take a look up there. Up there. Oh, here it is. So we're just going to take her out of the equation. Well, the better half will. We have some uh, stuff there nuking. Because what we're doing is we're getting the uh, separation. Go out there, please. Well, she does that and gets her hands washed. That's almost going to ding, which is fine. And we're going to turn off this because we now don't need it. We left our dough in the oven, in the oven, in the fridge overnight, a little bit hard, which is fine. And we left it in the fridge because it's a little bit easier to deal with stuff like that. She tells rooms are not nice. See if there's a pastry one. Let's see if we can get that. Here. And then I'll have to go out in the kitchen if you want. Pastry first. Okay. Just one. It's outside. It I will get it. That's what I'm telling you. Just sit here for two seconds. Will you get the butter out? For me. The microwave. And it exploded. Oh, the butter? Yeah. Be careful, please. No, I thought it was going to be. So, folks, what she's going to do, she's going to slide this over here for me. Put those fine there. You're going to brush all these and then put a little bit of flour and pinch them. Pinch them. And we're just doing this, folks, to make the uh, thing a little bit more flakier, if you will, would be the best term for it. While she's doing that, I'm just taking a handful of flour, folks, to put it onto the counter here and onto the dough. I'm going to get her to tilt those things sideways if she can. OK. 
the hammer sideways, this way, whichever way you're, whichever one you're doing, just so I can have a little bit of room over here myself. Because I'm going to take the rolling pin, folks. You make something else fall? Which is fine. Now, we might have to stop for a little bit because this dough is really hard. And we want to roll it out to one eighth of, one eighth of a thick, thickness, folks. And that's just, you know who, getting into a little bit of mischief up there, which is fine. She's just knocking things over, it's fine. Nothing dangerous. Yeah, we might just stop the tape for a little bit, folks. Just so that way what we can do, just do the one now and wait for the other one, okay? Don't, don't start the other one yet. Okay, but put a little bit of flour in the one you did. Okay. Now this dough's really, really hard, folks. I'll tell you that. Which is fine. Roll this out to be one eighth of a thickness, which is pretty thin if you think about it. Now you could do these with a shot glass to make the form, or if you're really soft-handed like we are here, you're gonna do it by hand. But we're gonna stop the tape in a few seconds, so that way I can do this. If not, we'll let it stop. And unplot a little bit. <laughs> so, talk to you a bit, folks. Hey there, folks. Welcome back. So we just rolled out our dough. one eighth thickness, basically. Some spin spots are a little bit thicker. But we're going to now get the part going. I'm using a regular glass. You can use a shot glass for this. But I'm using a regular glass. Or you can use a round cookie cutter. Now, folks, when you do this, you'll get little once out, you may have to do it twice or roll it around a couple times. Like this. And then you just, it's fine there. You take it in. And what we're doing folks, which you're going to see here, and that she's going to continue to do, is They're not going to be that high up, which is fine. I'm just going to bring you around to see it. So you can see, folks, and yes, there is some on the sides that you will see that is doing this. Now, we have our oven set at 400 right now. So we're going to bake these for 15 minutes. And when we do that, we'll get the filling ready. But we're going to talk to you in a little bit as she finishes up this piece here, folks. And I'll help her out with that. So, talk to you in a bit. All right. Hey there folks, we got two minutes left on the baking part of this, but our water is boiling. So now we're going to take this, we're going to pour it over the raisins. As you can see, we do have some raisins in there. That's fine, this only tells us we got one minute left, which is fine. Now that water has been boiling, I want to cover the raisins. It's not going to cover up too much. Well, it's going to cover up enough because it's sealed all the way through. There is some steam coming out in some spots, folks, which is not a problem. So we do have some more that we're going to do, but I'll be right back. I'm going to get the uh, foam because that has the rest of my ingredients on it. The Western Twiller. Man, you can see, folks, S'mores is trying to get into the kitchen. She wants these fire carts more than me. I'll fight her tooth and nail for these butter hearts. I'm gonna move that over here. Eh, it's not a problem. So, uh, I just gotta go to my recipe, which is right here. That's done. So, we are gonna move this to here. Put this up here. I gotta uh, butter them and then. I know what we gotta do, but I'm just gonna reach over to here, 
But I do have another theory on doing it, folks. I just remembered the other one's in here. Ah, there we go. Oh, beep, beep, beep. It's just beeping at me, folks, like a crazy coon hound here. Which we have right there. Type. Now, folks, I'm going to put my oven down to 350. Just because I do need to lower it. See, folks, I will have to cut some out of the shapes, but they're not bad because they will cook up and everything. But they almost turn out like a muffin tin here, so but it's nothing bad. I can fix that problem, okay? Which I will do right now. Hey there, folks, as you can see, we've kind of indented them a little bit. As you can see what she's doing. We're doing this one, folks. And then the oven is turned down to 350. Which I wanted to triple check on. And we're basically going to put them in the oven after this for 15 to 20 minutes. Or 10 to 15 minutes, I think I said. Just going to look again. We drained out the raisins. And all we added was a quarter cup of butter. Folks, and then yeah, we're gonna put them in for 10 to 15 minutes after that, or until they start to brown. Uh, but all we put into that pastry, folks, there was a quarter cup of butter. It says melted or cooled, but it was fine. We did really well. Half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of uh, corn syrup. We used honey, pinch of salt, one egg, and a fifth of half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, folks, what we did is to help us out get all that honey out of the uh, measuring cup is we stirred it with the vanilla in there. So like I told her, we're not too worried if they're overflowing a little bit. So some of them are not even flowing at all. Which is fine. The, mo the most you can put in there is fine. We're not going to worry. Do all of them. I have indented them a little bit folks to help out. We are doing up another one of these so it will help out. Okay. I'm just going to come over to the side and move around a little bit here and there so you can see what she's doing. Okay. Now I'll put this in the oven for her because it's hot and I don't mind touching hot things. Mind you, I got a thick hand. So, all it is is one left. Put a, another little spoonful in this one and a little one in that, okay? Doesn't matter if you get extra raisins or. There you go. And then a little spoonful, even another raisin or two in there is fine. This one here. And that's perfect because we're going to be doing different things with these folks. So she's going to stop while I put those into the oven for her. So, talk to you in a second. So folks, we used the rest of ours. We were going to try something else. We did a butter tart pie. We've cooked it. I'm going to let it cool. And we're going to serve that up too for dessert. Nice little treat. We used walnuts for the topping, as you can see. So, we've done Budget Buddies today. We're... Not happy that the numbers aren't going down with COVID-19, right? Right. We're sad that the schools are closed. We hope that everybody will learn a lesson and keep themselves a little bit more safer, right? Yeah. I And I say that this school should never started in September if it was going up high again. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. So we're going to wrap up Budget Buddies and we're going to tell you that we will be doing more episodes and stuff like that in the future we're just almost done our battle that we're at and we'll explain more about that in the upcoming episodes and after we're done the battle correct and we're gonna wrap it up with budget wise budget conscience budget healthy budget smart and always always stay butter tart beautiful